Good morning, good midday, good evening. No matter what time you are watching this, I want to greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to first start by thanking those who had an opportunity on yesterday to be on the church meeting to look at our revised uh, mission uh, and vision of this church. So thank you so much for being on. Thank you for your participation. We want to, as we move toward phase two in our opening, uh, we want to be intentional, and there are several things that we need to do. We want to focus on uh, re-engaging back to brick and mortar. What that means for us is that we have a lot of planning, a lot of preparations to do. We've done a lot of planning, a lot of preparation. But one of the most significant things is we have to move from what has been the last year and a couple of months, a spectator uh, approach to an in-person approach. What do I mean by a spectator approach? On Sunday mornings, on Wednesday nights, all you have to do is put your mouse over a link and click it. But it takes hours for us to prepare that link so that when you click it, the right things will be there. So having said that, we're going to be fasting this coming week to end our, um, our week of uh, focus. And we're going to be giving, already giving, step-by-step -step instructions when the fast will start, when it will end, what you should be doing while you're fasting, because we're fasting with a purpose. We don't just fast for a ritual, that's surface-level religion. But we want to fast so that God will touch our heart, recondition our hearts, and make us more sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit in our life. Not to be able to live shabby lives, but live in lives that are worthy in the sight of Jesus Christ. So having said that, we are asking that each and every one of you become and be a part of the fast. We want to fast, especially focus for ministry. What does that mean? Ministry can be translated at the word service. And so we're coming not to be served, but to be servants. We don't want to just come back the way we left. We have drifted away. We want to be servants of the, of the Lord. Jesus said, I came not to be served, but I came to serve. And if we are followers of Jesus, we must follow what he's doing. Now, here's something in particular that that will entail, the service. I'm so glad that we had a whole list of volunteers, and we still do need volunteers. So on this Saturday, we will come together, all of the many servers. Uh, there will be those who will be greeting. There will be those who will be working security, those who are working the parking lot, those who will be ushering, those who will be deacons. We are coming together. We're going to do a dry run so that we can get all of the jitters out of our system and be ready for an in brick and mortar service on Sunday. Uh, so we're asking that everybody come at six o'clock. We're gonna run through it, and we want to shine for the Lord on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. We do have a system in place because the job of the pastor is to look out for the sheep. And part of my job is to make sure I get maximum protection from you. In the old days, the shepherd had to worry about lions and, and, and bears and stuff. I don't have to worry about physical lion and bears, but I do have to worry about the virus called COVID. So we have put in place procedures to make sure that we maximize your protection. I mean that there is a reservation system. The link will be live on Tuesday. You need to come in and register. You cannot attend the phase two worship service without reservation. But the reservation is easy. You click on it, put out your name, your address, your email, and guess what? You can pick your own seat. And once you do that, I'm sure you have a printer. Print out your seat chart, bring it with you, as uh, you will need that for the assignment. Even if you forget it, the ushers will have that. When you get here, stay in your car. Our great security and parking lot team will usher you in so there won't be no crowd at the door. Please bring your mask, have it on when you get out of the car, and if by some chance you forget one, we will make one available. There will be someone at the door to check your temperature, there will be someone, uh, there will be uh, stations to clean your hands, you'll come in, you'll give your seating chart, uh, 
they will sign you in, the usher will seat you, and we will have a great worship. In the end, please look to our ushers because they are trained in what they're doing. You will leave through two exits. You'll come in one entrance and go out two exits. And then you will go out. Uh, the ushers will tell what road to get up and leave. And we're asking that when you leave, go to your car. I know it's tempting to chat and do all those things, but we're asking that you exit and go home. Continue to pray that God will heal the virus in the land, that this new strain don't cause us any increase in death and hospitalization, and that we can move to phase three and then to phase four. God bless you. God keep you as our prayer.